What's up, Brian Tong here, and we have our first new product announcements of 2023 from Apple. You know, Apple just announced the new M2 Pro and M2 Max chips that will be featured in the new 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pro. And then you got the new Mac mini that will feature the new M2 Pro chip for its top configuration, or it'll also get the standard M2. Now the announcements are all about the new power in the M2 Pro and the M2 Max, and it's definitely an improvement and really the speed bump we expected Yes, we know it's not a huge leap compared to when we went to the new Apple Silicon architecture, obviously, but there's still a lot to like here. So to me, the more power, the more better, always. So let's do a quick breakdown and get my reactions with the chips first. We're gonna start with the M2 Pro chip. This is a 12 core CPU. That's two more CPU cores than the M1 Pro with up to a 19 core GPU compared to the M1 Pro's 16 core GPU. You're also getting up to 32 gigs of unified memory and a 200 gig bandwidth. Both of those stay the same as the previous generation. Overall, you're getting a 20% faster CPU performance, 30% faster GPU performance, 40% faster AI performance with their neural engine compared to the M1 Pro Max. And look, that's a whole lot of power for most users, especially my mom, like Mama Tong. You're gonna be fine with an M2 Pro and M1. I mean, you're good. But if you wanna level that up, Let's talk the M2 Max chip, which also brings 12 CPU cores, and that's eight high performance and four high efficiency cores. So we're getting two more high efficiency cores in this generation, and then up to a 38 core GPU, that's up from the M1 Max's previous 32 core GPU. The M2 Max can go up to 96 gigs of unified memory. The previous M1 Max supported up to 64 gigs, so that's just a nice beefy 32 gig jump up and it still has twice the memory bandwidth of the M2 Pro with 400 gigs, similar to how the M1 Max and the M1 Pro were last year. You're also getting a 20% increase in CPU performance and a 30% increase in GPU performance and the 40% AI performance with a neural engine compared to the previous M1 Max chip. Now the M1 Max was already a freaking monster and it's what I've been working on since day one of its release. So where do these chips end up going? Well. Obviously, let's start with the new 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pros. Both models have the ability to be maxed out with the highest level processor and eight terabyte storage. That's nice. Then you got the new MacBook Pros that are all really about the speed bump, right? You got the design and the form factors. They have remained the same. You're still getting its juicy liquid retina XDR display with ProMotion, but there are a few new features coming. It now comes with Wi-Fi 6E for faster connectivity. If you have the proper Wi-Fi 6E router to support it and Bluetooth 5.3 as well. So thank you, Apple, because we have been waiting for that. The HDMI port now supports HDMI 2.1. It outputs up to 8K at 60 Hertz, but also 4K at 240 Hertz, which is nice on the new MacBook Pros. Now I don't have an 8K TV, but I like this future-proof feature. There are also other displays that's worth, but this laptop will clearly last you a long, long time. And if you wanna talk about lasting longer, and I'm not talking about your personal life, the new MacBook Pro has the longest battery life on a Mac with the 16 inch getting up to 22 hours of video playback according to Apple. That is one hour more versus the M1 Max MacBook Pro. And then the 14 inch gets 18 hours, which is also one hour up from last year's model. So the 14 inch MacBook Pro still starts at $19.99 and the 16 inch still starts at $24.99 for their base models. Both are available to pre-order today and will start arriving to customers on January 24th. Now, let's have some fun here. And if I wanted to max out a 16 inch M2 Max MacBook Pro with 96 gigs of memory, then you get the eight terabyte drive. It would be $6,499 before getting Apple Care and sales tax. That's more than the max out model from last year that was $6,099, but really the extra memory capacity is that $400 difference. And am I tempted? Well, of course I am, but I'm really gonna have to push this through its real world tests and render out projects to just see how much of a difference it makes for me. But if you already have an M1 Max MacBook Pro like I do and you're creative, honestly, you're still good to go. And if you're on an Intel machine still, <laughs> this thing is gonna change your life. Now we still don't talk enough about also how quiet these freaking machines are for their power. So the new MacBook Pros, they are a nice speed bump upgrade with some extra battery juice if it makes sense to you. And I know there are also a few of you who will just buy anything Apple new, so good for you. All right, the new Mac mini gets either the M2 Pro or the regular M2, and it's really the M2 Pro that unlocks a lot of the new features and options. The Mac mini 
with the M2 Pro can be configured with up to 32 gigs of memory. The standard M2 can't. The M2 Pro Mac Mini also can be configured with higher storage options at one, two, four, or eight terabytes. And then an M2 Mac Pro Mini can also support up to three external displays and its HDMI can support a single 4K display at 240 Hertz. So you're getting two more Thunderbolt 4 ports here on the back of an M2 Pro Mac Mini and both models have ethernet. You have HDMI, two USB-A ports and a headphone jack for wired audio options. And then Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 are here as well, which finally looks like two new staple features for Apple products in 2023. Also, the new Mac Mini with the M2 Pro chip is 0.01 inches taller and 0.2 pounds heavier because is beefier. All right, the standard new M2 Mac Mini starts at $599. The new M2 Pro Mac Mini starts at $1299, and that can be maxed out with a 12-core CPU, 19-core GPU, 32 gigs of RAM, and eight terabytes of storage, and a 10 gigabit ethernet port for $4,499 before Apple Care and Tax. That's if you wanna max it out, but really that Mac Mini with the M2 Pro, you don't have to max out. It is still so underrated with the power that it packs these days. But then these announcements also make me more excited for what a new, Mac Studio might look like this year. So that's why I'm doing this finger thing in a jigger. So those are the announcements to kick off 2023 from Apple. And obviously I'll be doing my review videos on this channel when they come out, but I also have one more thing for you. Hey, go check out Apple's announcement video that features the new M2 Pro, the M2 Max, the new Mac, Mac hardware, because you might see someone that you recognize. Just flying. Make thumbs you have next level. It's a beast. They just changed the game. Now that's a rat apple. Yeah! And that's factual because Apple Silicon absolutely transformed the Mac and changed the game. Changed the game. <laughs> for performance and efficiency for content creators like myself. I'd love to hear what you think about these announcements. Is it nice? Are you meh? I mean, this is the natural progression, but solid updates across the board if you're in the market for a machine. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for this video. If you like what you see, give me that thumbs up, subs up, and hit that notification bell, ding, to get all my latest videos when they drop. And if you want more of that Apple goodness, you can check out my weekly Apple Bits XL audio podcast to get the latest deep dive with all these stories and new ones every week with special guests. And also, I just hit 250 episodes on the podcast since going independent almost five years ago. That is just crazy. So thank you again for watching and supporting me on this journey. You can also go to patreon.com slash Brian Tong to support all my content and get a completely ad-free version of the podcast and so much more. So take care, everybody, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace and love.